Alderac Entertainment Group, or AEG, has been going on for a fair length of time, and in this time they have created a huge amount of really good games. Smash Up springs to mind, a fantastic card game. Last year at Essen I had the pleasure of getting my hands on a few games that have been recently released. The first one we're going to take a look at is Guild Hall from the Chinese designer Ho Huang. I believe that to be the first game that he's released outside China. And the game is all about creating your own kingdom and players being able to take away workers and having a lot of backstabity action, which I personally like a lot. Now, the game is very simple in mechanics and it's very simple in components. So I am wondering if what's inside this box is worth the money that you have to pay to get your hands on it. Let's open the box and take a look at that. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. As I was mentioning, Guild Hall is the first installment that we have seen so far, so far, from Hope One, from China. Let's take a look inside and see this very simple looking game, I have to say. It doesn't seem to me that it has very complex components or very elaborate um, kind of gimmickry. So I'm, I'm very curious to see what's what's like. The box is very nice. The illustration is actually quite quite okay. My my only thing, if I have to be mega picky, is that you have one, two, three, four, five characters, but only one of them is a woman, and she's portrayed as the, the, the kind of seductress. And I wish women had a different kind of role within board games, but that's just being picky. The illustration is quite nice. The characters look quite fun. It's, it's quite colourful. Uh, it is, it, that's what it's meant to do. So I'm I'm okay with the box so far. Nice quality, which is what you would expect from AG. First thing we see is the rules book. Surprisingly light as well. There isn't doesn't seem to be a lot here. The layout appears to be very nice. The setup only takes four steps. The card anatomy is very well laid out, which is lovely and you immediately get into the how to play. Yay! You know, as in, yay! That's, that actually sounds, sounds quite good. End of game, and if you want any other rules, and then all the credits. Well, ladies and gentlemen, oh, and the, the rules are also in German. So, you have six pages of rules. This is a light game. This is a very light game, and I like light games with not too many rules to read, so my dyslexia doesn't show off too much. Hmm. So far, pretty good. Tokens. We like tokens, and we get okay. We get one of these with robust little tokens, which, to be honest, I would be expecting this from AEG because, I mean, they're the people who brought out War of Honor, which has a lot of tokens. I mean, you've seen that game, there's a lot of tokens. So I, I, can, I would be expecting that the quality of these would be very good. And they are. They are indeed. I'm, I'm very happy. Not just because of the thickness, but the way that they have been carved out is very good. Quite simple design like a coin. Not much to say about them, but certainly very, very nice. Now, this surprises me. There's one deck of cards, another deck of cards, and a lot of empty space. Um, okay. I mean, did you need that much space? Because you could have put this in a smaller box. And although I can imagine and understand, you know, that companies get a better presence in shops when they have a slightly bigger box, 
but you've done one thing with this AG and you have you, you automatically stopped me from taking this game into my bag when I go out because it's too big to fit in my bag. If this came in a smaller box, it would come with me without a problem. So, uh, can you please make a smaller box size of this game? That would be awesome. Right, let's open this. Thank you. Thank you, Alderac Entertainment Group. Thank you very, very much for organizing the deck of cards packing with these little pool things that stop me from having to bite, literally, my way into the decks. This is something that more companies should do, so well done. Brownie points. The cards. Let's take a look at the quality of the cards. It's quite standard. It's, it's not as thick as the cards that we found in Phantom, the game from Ludonot, but it's not as thin as all the games that we can see out there that will get eager dogged pretty much right away. Thick enough. I like them. I like the background with the logo and you get different color of the background. I like the illustrations that I can see so far and the anatomy of the card is also quite a simple one. You get the main picture, not the character, in this case the farmer little icon, I presume, to, to symbolize what guild um, he or she belongs to. And then your little values, which are very easy to see and spot. The colors are very vibrant. And the illustrations are actually quite lovely. I, I like it. Those are weavers. Historian, more historians. See, and this is why you need this little icon at the top, because the cards change color, but the icon does not. So that, that will show you what guild they belong to. The values, again, very simple anatomy for, for the cards. Everything is quite big, everything is very easy to identify. And that, for me, is a winning formula. I really like, I really like that. This is very well thought design. This stops you from getting distracted or having to identify lots and lots and lots of, of components for the game. It also means that the game should be quite simple. And since the rules also reflect that, I'm going to assume that this is a very simple game to play, which is great. Assassins, Trader, Trader, Dancer, it's the one I don't like, sorry. Also dancers and more farmers. And that's it. There isn't anything else. My impressions of the game is very good. Although, yes, I wish the box were smaller so it could be more of a travel size. But at the end of the day, that is not going to affect the gameplay. The only thing it's going to affect is the space it's going to take on your shelf. Quite frankly, if you don't like it, just put it in a smaller box. You know, take one of these um, VHS tapes, or just go to a charity shop, a thrift store, and, and get one of those, and I'm sure that the game will probably fit in those quite easily. Go for it. Production value is excellent. The printing is vibrant, the, the quality of the illustrations is great, the tokens are lovely, the rules have been very well laid out. Overall, I am very happy, and since I know that it is a very good game, I am quite happy to give this game four stars because it looks pretty sweet and I want to play it, so it looks good.